Dominion is a 30-minute game for 2-4 to four players in which you are a monarch seeking to expand your kingdom. Build your resources, purchase land, and earn the most victory points to win. Explore new strategies and endless card combinations in this deck building game. Every game of Dominion is played with a different combination of cards. The base cards used in every game are the victory cards, which you use to win the game, curse cards, which count against victory points, and treasure cards, which help you buy more cards. A game is played with 10 different kingdom cards, which can be chosen in a variety of ways, either by drawing from the randomizer deck, choosing amongst yourselves, or using a recommended set from the rulebook. The base cards and the kingdom cards make up the supply, with the exception of the trash pile. Every turn in Dominion contains three phases, A, B, and C, action, buy, and cleanup. In the action phase, players may play one action card. Place the card in your play area, announce the card, and follow its instructions completely from top to bottom before continuing. Next is the buy phase. Place any treasure cards you wish to use in your play area and add up your total coin value for the turn. You may purchase any one card of equal or lesser value from the supply. Each card's cost is found in the lower left corner. Careful not to confuse this with a treasure card's coin value found on the face of the card and in the top corners. Take the purchase card and place it face up in your discard pile. If you earned extra buys from the action phase, you may buy additional cards, so long as the total value does not exceed your coin value. In the cleanup phase, place all the cards in your hand and play area into the discard pile and draw a new hand of five cards. If at any point in the game you are required to draw or reveal more cards than the amount that remain in your deck, draw or reveal as many as you are able to, then shuffle the discard pile and replace your deck. Otherwise, do not shuffle the discard pile unless instructed to. To keep track of your cards, ensure the deck remains face down and the discard pile remains face up, with your play area in between. The game ends at the end of a player's turn when either the province pile is empty or any three supply piles are empty. Place all of your cards into your deck and count your total victory points. The player with the most victory points wins. In the case of a tie, the winner is the player who has taken the fewest turns. If there is still a tie, rejoice in your shared victory. Each action card has a description of its effect. There are many keywords to simplify this text. Plus cards. Draw cards from your deck equal to the amount on your action card. Plus actions. Gain a number of actions equal to the amount on your action card. Keep track of your actions audibly. You may play action cards until you run out of actions or choose to stop. Plus buy. Gain a number of buys equal to the amount on your action card. Plus coin. This increases the coin value for your turn equal to the amount on your action card. Trash. Move cards to the trash pile as described on the card. Gain. Take a card from the supply and place it in your discard pile. Note that gaining a card this way does not count as a buy, nor can you combine it with coins, but buying qualifies as gaining a card. Reveal. Show revealed cards to all players, then return them to where they came from, unless the card specifies something else. Attack. A type of action card that affects other players. Reaction. A type of action card that you may reveal from your hand out of turn to immediately respond to a specified event. Let's walk through a turn. First is my action phase. I'll play an action card, Village. I get plus one card from my deck, and I get to use two additional actions this turn. The first I'll use is the Witch. I'll draw two cards from the deck, and each other player gains a curse. I'll play a second action, the Woodcutter. I get plus one buy and plus two coins. Since I ran out of actions, I can't play another action card, so I'll move to the buy phase. I'll place my treasure cards down, and combined with my coins from the woodcutter card, I have five coins to buy with. I choose to buy the market card, worth five coins, and it goes to the discard pile. I choose not to use the second buy I earned from the woodcutter. In the cleanup phase, I move all the unused cards from my hand to the discard pile, as well as all the cards I played during my turn. Now I'll draw a new hand of five cards. Since only three cards remain in my deck, and I must continue drawing, I'll take my discard pile, shuffle it, and it becomes my new deck. 
I'll finish by drawing the remaining two cards I need for my hand of five. At the start of each game, place the base cards and your chosen kingdom cards on the table. In a 3-4 player game, use 12 of each victory card, or in a 2 player game, 8 of each. In a 2 player game, use 10 curse cards. For each additional player, add 10 more. Each player makes a deck of 7 coppers and 3 estates. Shuffle your deck, draw a 5 card hand, and randomly select a starting player, taking turns in a clockwise direction. We're Games Explained, and that's how to play Dominion.